Michael Nutton, congratulations on becoming president-elect of the Ladies Gaelic Football Association. First of all, your reaction. How did you feel when you got the news when the, it was, the vote was read out? Uh, thank you, Jerome. I mean, when the vote was read out, I mean, basically, there wasn't words to describe how I feel. I mean, well, just to say I was overwhelmed by, by emotion would be an understatement. That, I mean, you know, basically, I never thought I would get elected on the first account. It was a huge, huge personal vote. And again, to everybody that voted for me, I'm just over the moon. And again, for the people that didn't vote for me, everybody will, will be the same. We're one big GAA family and we'll all work together. You say a big GAA family, but in particular, you're sort of claiming two provinces here. You're the first from Ulster and the first from Connacht. Yes, I mean, I suppose you're yeah, saying getting two for the price of one <laughs> and, and that. So again, definitely, I mean, you know, I originally would have come from Sligo, as you rightly say, Jerome, I mean, but came to Donegal over 24 years ago, and I mean, and that's where I got involved in ladies' football and that. So again, I mean, you know, again, Ulster, I mean, as well, and Donegal, I mean, it's a huge, huge day for, for that province as well. And, you know, I'm just delighted as a doctor's son. That means basically I'm taking home a title to, to uh, Ulster. And could I ask you, I mean, that's a very simple question. Why did you want to become president? And that, well, as I said in my, my speech earlier, I mean, the good days that I had were always in ladies' football. I had some great days. I mean, and just 2010 comes back to my mind to lead Donegal out in Croke Park pitch. It's what people dream about, and I got the opportunity to that. Ladies' football has been good to me. I mean, I have been, would like to say I've been good to ladies' football. I'm very passionate about it. I think we have made huge, huge strides. And when you see them in the association taking some of our rules, I mean, it just shows a bit what we have achieved in our short term. And that wasn't down to me on Yachtin. That's down to people that have gone long before me. People that worked hard for our association. The grassroots people that go out on a daily basis and make our association what it is. We could never thank them people enough. And what would you like to achieve in your three years? I mean, what, for example, was the mantra of your speech? What exactly do you want to do? That, well, basically, I want to help the clubs, the local clubs, because that is basically our biggest asset, and the, and the players. I mean, yes, I mean, we can have county teams as well, but there's more to, to any province than a county team or a, 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 any county. So basically, it's working with the grassroots of, of our association. Also, the international bodies, I mean, they're doing huge work over, o, overseas. The commitment, and basically, they're given. That I want to basically be there for them to help them and support them. And also, I'd like to see the continuation of the green... The integration with the men's. Basically, we have made huge, huge strides. And, you know, we are very thankful to the Men's Association for what they have done for us and what the help they have given us. And we've seen that down through the last number of years. Basically, now we're getting into Crow Park. We're getting on before league games, I mean. We're getting on before championship games. And as I say, we are a GA family. And that's the side And I hope to continue that and build the relationships that basically that we all basically will be on the one umbrella one day. Could I just pick up on that last point? What exactly do you see as the potential or the progress and how could you integrate more with the men's? Well, basically what we're doing at the moment, because, I mean, you go into any ladies' cl club or, the men, or any clubs, it's the same people that are do working in the men's as working in, in the ladies. We're all, as I would say, one family in the men. Again, that basically, you know, they can, it's, it's happening in a lot of counties at the moment that, you know, teams are getting in training on the county grounds, they're getting in training and centre of, of excellence, that mean. You know, we're all striving to see the same thing. Again, as the ladies, that basically we, we hold our own identity, we'll have our own presidents, we'll have our, our, our own All-Ireland final days and all that. But, I mean, basically working the, basically, the grounds and that mean, the fundraising and basically, you know, working together basically for the funding and all that and basically that comes down and filters down to the clubs and the people on the ground that basically that are striving to make our association what it is that basically we give them a hand and a sport there all along. It's an exciting time to be coming into the Ladies Gaelic Football Association with the big attendances, certainly for the big games in Crow Park at least. Yes, you know, you know, I mean, like, look, I mean, we had 56,000 at our All Ireland last year. Last year also was our first time getting our All Ireland semi finals into Crow Park. That's what we want to do. We want to build a county level. Our, 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 our Ulster titles, our Connor titles, our Leinster, our Ulster titles, getting crowds at them, basically then our All Ireland series, getting people out supporting our games. Because, I mean, the latest games, I mean, there's some excellent football in it. I mean, I mean, and I think the standard of our football, I think a lot of people are impressed, and I mean, and anybody that gets to see our games. And that's why it's very important. And we think, you know, the likes of you, Jerome, and the media people, that's getting our sports out there and what you are doing for our association and again I'd have to you know you know say it about teenage and basically little for what have invested in our sports our sports would not be what it is today without the, the, the sponsorship and the support that we're getting from teenage and little and we're very very grateful for that and very appreciative of it. You're going to be the president in a year's time taking over from Marie and the good news is we have another year with Marie who's been a fantastic president but what about the staff of the Ladies Gaelic Football Association and the work that they do right across the board? 
Yes, and that means, and, you know, basically, you know, as you rightly said, Marie has done two terms, I mean, has been an, an excellent president, I mean, but also, I mean, you know, the, the staff in Crow Park, I mean, and basically the, led by the store of Helen O'Rourke, that which has done great stuff for our ladies' football. And, you know, I think basically our association we would not be what it is today without the drive and, and it was not Helen O'Rourke done. And basically, the staff in the office, them girls, basically, have given so much to our association. And I, mean, and I look forward to working with, working with them and basically helping them to promote our game and basically get as much as we can for our game and get it out there as much as possible. Can I go back to the start? You're an Ulster man now, an adopted Ulster man now, and uh, I'm sure it wasn't exactly you're doing, but next year's Congress going to Belfast, going to Antrim, that's great news too. Yes, delight, delighted to, to see, see you come back to Ulster and that mean, you know, and basically we had three, three counties looking for today, Antrim basically down in Cavan, and again, you know, I mean, I was held in a boat and Antrim got it, and look forward to that mean, me coming in Ulster President, I mean, that basically is happening in Ulster, you know, you couldn't ask for better. And just finally, if I can also go back to the start, when you were named as president-elect, you were quite emotional. Um, you have your family with you here and your family who've passed as well, and this was a particularly poignant day for you as well. Yes, I mean, you know, it's funny, I mean, this day, 24 years, I lost my dad, and that mean how proud he would be today. I mean, that, and, you know, it's emotional. <laughs> and what was he in terms of the GEA? I mean, I take it he was involved in the LGFA, but I take it he gave you... You know, he put it in you back in, in Sligo. Yes, I mean, you know, growing up in a family of 12, I mean, you know, basically, I mean, sports was, was, was everything to us, basically. I mean, you know, times, you know, when I'm, I'm not that old, but I mean, you know, you're out in sports, I mean, we're all allowed to play, play, play football, I mean, and again, basically, you know, that they're always there, basically, I mean, you know, they've never stopped us in anything they want to do. Basically, they always encourage us. I mean, you know, their, their motto was basically, you know, if you want something in life, you've got to work for it. And that basically, and you know, the other part of saying that I always take me, you know, they always told us hard work never killed anybody. And, you know, people said to me, you know, have you eight or ten days in the week for what you do? But I say basically, you know, I enjoy what I'm doing, I'm able to do it, and once I'm able to do it and I enjoy it, that's what it's all about. You're certainly positive. You're certainly popular as well, as we've seen by the vote today, and you have a lot of energy you're going to bring to this. Look, at, yes, I mean, and you know, definitely, I mean, you know, there was three candidates there, I mean, and you know, and to, to, Lee, to, to Liam and Dominic, and I mean, you know, again, you know, that's what it's all about, basically, you know, people putting their names forward, I mean, but I mean, you know, to say the vote that I got, I'm overwhelmed, I mean, there isn't words in the English dictionary to describe how I feel tonight, to get that such a vote, I mean, it was phenomenal, I mean, and I just kind of thank the people, people enough for giving this vote, and I just hope that I live up and I do them people proud. What about words in the Irish dictionary? You might need to learn a few of those now with T.G. Gahar about. <laughs> yes, that mean that I'll have to go to the Gaelic and, and only go for, for, for a week, and that mean d d definitely, I mean, you know, the brush up in Irish, and you know, it's something that basically we're looking at, even in the latest thing that basically we're putting a committee in there with with with, with, with um, Porrick from, from T.G. basically coming in there, lead, leading that along with Hugh Devaney, the culture officer, and, and Johnny Gall. So basically, yes, I mean, we realise how important Irish is to our association. I mean, and again, that basically is our culture and it's our language. And I mean, and basically, we will do our best to make sure that we can promote it at all times.